What up, everybody? It's your girl, July, from Kickback Couture, and today I'm going to talk about the secrets of synchronous. And, of course, if you're a synchronous pro, then these aren't necessarily secrets for you. But let's go ahead and get into it. I'm going to reset this patch. And let's just break it down in the simplest form. We have three different modulation windows in which we can draw any waves, any waveforms we want to using the given patterns up here. And we can also change the rate. We have free form. We can also change the speed in which we travel throughout each modulation window from two times the original speed and half time. We have master offset. We can change the phase, which is the start of the curve. And we can also change the master offset, which will change where we start in the modulation window. So if you watch this, we see it move. And that yellow rectangle would indicate where we would start in our sequence in the modulation. So down here we have the three modulation windows, three different options for our curves. We have freeze and kill buttons for each window. We have distortion, filter, delay, reverb, level. These are our master effects, which is just a dry wet knob in the master level. And we also have our mod control knobs here in which the colored knobs control what we're modulating in the windows and these control well the overall amount that we are sending to be affected by these knobs so i will start with a basic application and how we can use synchronous and then we can move on to more complex applications so the first thing i will do is create tremolo with this organ that i have now it already has some tremolo in it the db33 has an option for tremolo but let's say i want it faster or slower or some type of different rate i'm gonna grab this sine wave here and let's go ahead and choose about a fourth I'm now going to dial in this level knob. I'm going to turn this up and we will hear what's going on with the level. And we hear as we turn this to the right, we are increasing the amount of level we're sending to it. However, it's really drastic, so I'm going to turn it down. So both of these knobs would control the level. This is the amount that we are sending into the modulation, basically. But this is going to affect how much we are modulating back and forth. So we can also go backwards. So up and down in volume or down and up in volume, whichever you so decide is right for you. All right, now for a second application, let's get into a, a bass line. Let's grab Europa. And let's grab a bass. All right, gonna drag an instance of synchronous inside. And let's make this a wobble base. Gonna turn on the filter. Could keep it at low pass. Let's get some wobbles going in here. And then we can tailor it to our liking and our needs as we so please. All right. All right, let's hit play. And I'm going to mute this one up here. And we 
can hear it changing. We can go back and forth between these, but we're going to keep it on low pass for now. Let's go with a faster rate. We can even do the speed knob at two. Can add some resonance. All right, nice, easy wobble bass effect there using just one modulation window. The next thing we're going to do is use synchronous to dial in some stutter effects. I'm going to use the square wave tool. And so these areas we want it to be fully on and these areas we want it off. Well, I mean these areas we want it off. This we want it on. So and able to do that, in order to do that, I'm gonna turn on the delay. I'm gonna turn on keep pitch because we don't want the pitch to change when we stutter. I'm gonna put it on sync and I'm gonna change this to return. And then let's dial in let's actually turn down the feedback and let's turn down the amount and then let's dial in some modulation with the mod controls and see what we've got so far and change it and we can hear the stutters happening Now if we wanted the volume to also change, we could use that same pattern we did with the same curve and dial in some volume changes. So anything is possible with synchronous. Just keep your head in the sky, mind in the clouds, whatever they say nowadays. All right, the next application I would like to demonstrate is a sweep. So I'm going to create a Thor. We're gonna go with a noise oscillator and we are golden and let's go ahead and bring up the release so that it does not stop gonna add synchronous in now ideally if we want to sweep we want to start with some sort of ramp so I'm gonna grab this tool and draw in gonna put it on half and let's turn on our filter dial in the frequency with the mod control turn this down a bit dial in some resonance and let's go ahead and see what it sounds like and then add and take out things as we go along so that we get our desired sound Less resonance. All right, let's add some distortion. Now 
for some reverb. And now we have an easy sweep effect for whatever sound we're playing. We can easily sweep it. Now in terms of uh, more, I guess, practical use, if you don't use noise like I do a lot of times, we can just use a Rex loop. Really easy way for adding energy to your samples and your progressions, whatever sounds you're using. Alright, now I would like to look at some applications in which we can use CV and synchronous. So let's create an alligator. I'm going to hold down shift so that it does not auto route. And let's go ahead and connect our CV output into one of Synchronous's ends. Draw a curve, bit slower in rate. Now we can hear our filter and the gate together. Let's say we wanted to use this in a ramp. Slow this down. Whoops. Let's actually put this on free mode and get this going up more. Meet it halfway. All right. Um. All right, that looks okay. Pretty good there. And this will be our ramp. So let's gradually add in reverb. Distortion. Let's put it on one. And let's turn up some resonance just a little bit. Turn up the lag, add some character, just make it really crazy. Not really crazy, but crazy enough. Alright, so that would be pretty cool, but it's not really musical, so let's work on making that more musical. One thing that jumps out is... The reverb gets kind of overbearing. Let's go ahead and turn down the resonance and let's go lighter on the distortion. And then we'd be ready for our drop and silence, boop, and our incredible kick or bass drop or whatever's coming after that. Do something a bit crazy. Uh, get some sign in there. Awesome. Let's get some delays in here as well. And we want to have some stutters. That's that's what I meant to say. Let's get some stutters going in here. So. As far as this one, I didn't dial in anything yet, but let's go ahead and put some distortion in this one. Um, put it on 2. We'll change it to 2. And then for this, let's turn on keep pitch, turn this into a return, turn on the delay. Let's turn down the amount and the feedback and dial in this and this. And 
we will come back up here and this looks pretty good to me distortion let's take it let's keep it here let's go ahead and speed this part up and let's this is modulating the, the the stutter so we'll keep that where it's at all right let's see what this sounds like <laughs> So that is like a, a complex, complex sweep right there. So ready for the ultimate drop. So if you like this video, give it a like, comment down below, subscribe, and most definitely let me know what you would like to see next. It's all culture, kickback, and cook up. Thank <laughs> you.